Okay, welcome back. This is uh, question number two from the January 2021 um, International A-Level at Excel Pure Mathematics P1 paper. Um, <clears throat> this is a question um, about a tree that was planted. Exactly three years after it was planted, the height of the tree was two meters. Exactly five years after it was planted, the height of the tree was 2.4 meters. Given that the height meters of the tree t years after it was planted can be modeled by the equation h cubed equals pt squared plus q, where p and q are constants, find to three significant figures, where necessary, the value of p and the value of q. Okay, so now we've got three years, um, two meters, five years, 2.4 meters. So we have two different situations. When t is equal to 3, that's years, that's years, good, yep. h is equal to 2, meters, meters, that's fine. So we have two um, different, you know, situations. We can make two separate equations. So this like looks like a typical type of simultaneous equation type of problem. Okay, so let's just take our values. This is the equation, I just duplicated it here. And let's just write down what we know. So we know that when uh, t equals 3, h equals uh, 2 meters. And when t equals 5, h equals 2.4 meters. Okay, so we can replace, in the first instance, we can replace the h with 2. So you're going to get 2 cubed equals p times 3 squared plus q. And for the other situation, you're going to have t equals 5, h equals 2.4. So you have 2.4 cubed is equal to p times t, which is 5 squared plus q. So we have two equations now, which we can try to solve simultaneously. Okay, so first of all, let's just simplify them a bit. This is going to give me 8 equals 3 squared is 9, so it'll be 9p plus q. And this is going to give me 2.4 cubed, 2.4, whoops, 2.4 cubed. That gives me um, 13.824, so that's 13.824 equals 5 squared, which is 25, so it's 25p plus q. So you have equation 1, you have equation 2. We can solve these equations simultaneously if I subtract... Um, these equations, the Q will disappear. I think doing it this way will be more sensible. 2 minus 1, that gives me 13.824 minus 8, which is 5.824, equals 25P minus 9P, which is 16P. And the Qs are eliminated because you subtract them. So now we can find what P is by just simplify, simply, simply dividing 5.824 by 16. Okay, so we're going to have 5.824, take away 8 from that first, 5.824 divided by 16, which gives us 0 0.364, 0 0.364, so we know that P is equal to 0 0.364, so that's one of the answers, it says to three significant figures, therefore we don't leave it as a fraction, that's just on the calculator, and this is three significant figures, so we don't need to do any rounding here. Okay, now part B, uh, sorry, the second part is to find Q. Now Q, um, we can use the first equation. I think the first equation is more friendly, it seems. So we have 8 equals 9P plus Q. Now I know that um, that means Q is equal to 8 minus 9P, just rearranging it. So that's 8 minus 9 times 0 0.364, and that will give us the value of Q. So I take... This value, I multiply it by 9, and then I do 8 minus my answer, and it gives me 4.724, 4.724. says 3SF, but this is like an exact value, so we could actually leave it like this. I would prefer to leave it like this. It's not really necessary to round it to 3SF. I'm sure if you did write it as 4.72, it would also be perfectly acceptable. Okay, but I'm going to leave it in that form because it's not something that goes on and on. So, I'm, um, you know, it's like an exact answer. So I'll leave it in that form. I'm sure that both of them will be fine. That's part A done. Now for part B, 
it says um, exactly t years after the tree was planted its height was five meters okay so here we have the equation from the first part of the question find the value of t according to the model giving your answer to one decimal place so uh, first of all, let's just put in the values we know of the constants. The constants are constants. So h cubed equals p, which is 0 0.364 t squared plus q, which is 4.724. And we've got to find the value of t, which is the capital T, is the time when its height was 5 meters. So we, we know that when h is equal to 5, that little t is equal to big T. We've got to find what that big T is. So we replace the H with 5. So you have 5 cubed equals 0 0.364. Replace the T with big T now. Uh, so it's going to be 0 0.364 T squared plus 4.724. So now I just have to make this T the subject. So if I subtract, um, so the 5 cubed is 125. So 125 minus 4.724 divided by... 0 0.364 that will make t squared the subject and if i take the square root of all of this that will give you my what t is okay i've just rearranged this equation to make t the subject so i've subtracted 4.724 divided by 0 0.364 and then taken the square root and i'm left with this so i can just stick this in my calculator so i have 125 minus the last answer which we had um, divided by 0 0.364 and I can find the square root of the answer and it gives me 18.1776 18.176 18.1769 continues on so we want the answer to one decimal place so here I should say t is equal to 18.2 okay so that's uh, in years so T years, so we just we don't have to put years because it's a T years, so that's 18.2, and the years are there, so that's 18.2, and that's the answer to part B. And um, I guess this question can be well, I'm gonna put this question, of course, in the playlist for this paper. And in the playlist, the link for which you'll see uh, somewhere appearing over here, and also in the description underneath, in the playlist description, you'll find the PDF file, uh, link to the PDF file of this paper, and also you'll find. Um, all the other questions, of course, from this paper. I'm going to, I think, categorize this question under simultaneous equations. So you'll find a link here to other questions which are related to simultaneous equations. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. And on the top of the page, you will have seen a card appearing once in a while, which will take you to another paper you might want to watch. Thank you for watching and see you soon.